good morning student today i will discuss and uh, the various topics under the headings combination of the cell why combination of cell is required then i will talk about the series combination the effect on current and voltage in series parallel combination effect of current and voltage in parallel let's start with series combination here i have taken n cells each of emf e now see student the figure whenever a charge has to cross it has to cross all the n cells in order to complete the circuit and in every cell the energy gained is emf e already we have defined what is emf in the previous class remember student what is emf once again i am reminding you what is emf you imagine first a positive and negative terminal of the cell then you imagine from the negative cell an electron is coming out and it is completing the circuit and completing the circuit it is flowing through the various devices which are connected say resistances and then it is returning to the positive terminal of the same cell then it is entering the cell and reaching the same point student okay so this imagination was about one electron now you convert one electron into one coulomb so the energy which is supplied by the chemical reaction of the cell in covering this journey this journey means starting point negative and again coming back to the negative okay and how much is the charge one coulomb that energy which is delivered is the emf of the cell student so in this case the charge has to cross every cell for completing the circuit no other path is available in every cell the energy gained is emf e so total energy gained will be ne so the net emf in series it is increasing okay now total resistance every cell has internal resistance small r so total resistance nr plus r you can see it it also increases then you can calculate current net emf upon resistance then for a single cell student how much is the current e upon r plus r you this you know it now case one student case one suppose the external resistance is much greater than internal resistance in that case a small r can be neglected sorry student in that case capital r since it is capital r is greater than uh, small r so yes a small r is neglected so how much is the current in series now becomes you neglect the small r student so the formula becomes n e upon r current due to one cell is e upon r thus the current increases student so in series student remember the net current increases net emf is also there is a increase so in series when the external resistance is much greater than internal resistance the current increases if you connect them in series now suppose student external resistance is much less than internal resistance in that case what happens student again you see the formula student in this case which one to be neglected capital r you remove capital r from the formula and you will get current due to single cell e by r current due to all the cell same so there is no change in current when the external resistance is much less than internal resistance or internal resistance is much higher than external resistance if you connect the cell in series there is no change in current now student i will discuss parallel combination okay n cells connected in parallel all have a small resistance r and external resistance is capital r in this case student charge has three paths to follow it can follow any of the path so that is why the energy gained will be only e because it can follow any of the three paths so in this case the net emf will be e means no changes in emf is there this means in parallel there is no change in the emf if the cells are of the same emf now what is the total resistance student see the combination series and parallel all the small r resistance they are in parallel so total n resistors r upon n and capital r that is in series because the all the current has to pass through capital r that is why capital r is in series student so total resistance you can see it the formula now student the current net emf upon current 
So this is the formula n e upon n r plus r. For a single cell, you make small n one. You will get the formula. Now again, in the first case, if the external resistance is much greater than internal resistance, then small r can be neglected. And how much is the current due to single cell e by r? How much is the current due to n cell e by r? So there is no change in current in this case. So remember, student, if you are connecting the cells in parallel, and if the external resistance is much greater than internal resistance, there is no change in current. Next is external resistance is much less than internal resistance. Again, you neglect capital R, you will get the formula. In this case, student, the current increases to n times. In this, this means when cells are connected in parallel, and the external resistance is much less than internal resistance. There is an increase in the current. But student, the requirement in our daily life. Sometimes we need a large value of EMF. Sometimes we need a large value of current, which is not possible singly by connected in series or in parallel. So what is required is we require a student mixed combination. Mixed combination is required in this case, student. So now we am I am coming to the. Mixed combination of cells. Now see, in one row, I have connected n small n cells in series. Again, for simplicity, I am taking each of E M F E. Okay, one row I am connecting n cell, and like this, I am connecting many rows, and the number of rows are small m. Now between the terminal A and B, these cells are connected. So total cells are how many, student? M into n. Now, student, EMF across one row. EMF across one row. Just now we have discussed in a series the EMF is added, so it is n times e. Now EMF across parallel rows remains unchanged that we have already studied. So that means total EMF across AB will be n times e. Remember, student, the voltage depends on one line how many cells are connected in series in one row series. Now see, instrument in one row, what is the total resistance? Small n into r. Like this, we have m rows in parallel. So total resistance n r upon m plus r. Now, student, I will calculate the current by the same formula, and this is the formula I am getting, student. See, m n e upon n r plus m r. Small n, small r is there. Capital M, capital R is there. N is the number of cell in one row. M is the number of rows. Now, what what is the advantageous condition for M and N? Now, see, student, always we require maximum current. Current is the maximum requirement. So we should select M and N in such a way the current becomes maximum. Now, how to choose the that value? Here I have shown the mathematics. In order that this current becomes maximum, N R plus M R should be minimum. Now, in what condition this denominator will become minimum? I am using a mathematics. This formula, student, it is in tenth class. A plus B whole square is equal to A minus B whole square plus plus four AB. That formula I have applied here. Now, see, student, this expression very carefully. How this will become minimum? That four M R N R. That you cannot do anything. This expression can only be minimum when the first term of the right hand side, that is n r minus m r, that is zero, student. That is zero. And when it will become zero? When n small n r is equal to m r. So this is the condition, see, student. N upon m is equal to capital R r upon r. This is the condition, student, in a mixed combination, where you can get maximum current, student. Maximum current means if N is if capital R is small, small n should be small in number. If capital R is uh, greater, then small n should be greater. Student, let's students solve one numerical to understand this question. Student, so once again remember, student, to get the maximum current, n upon m should be equal to capital R upon small r. Now see, student. If in a circuit suppose there is an external resistance of one ohm, student one ohm, while the internal resistance of a battery is four ohm, and total you are given hundred cells, student hundred cells. How should we divide the cells 
in rows and columns to give maximum current and what will be the emf of this battery and each cell has a emf 1.5 so student what are the given things in the question small n into m is given to be 100 capital r is given to be 1 ohm small r 4 ohm now see n upon m m i have written 100 by n so i got the value of n as 5 student n is 5 and from the above n m 100th m is 20 this means in one row i should connect five cells now how much is the emf again student remember how to how to calculate emf in a single row in a single row the cells which are connected they should be added those emf should be added so in a single row how, much, how many cells are connected five so total emf will be five into the emf of each cell that is 1.5 so net emf obtained student is 7.54 so got the student how the combination is made and how to get the maximum current only you have to remember that formula i how it should become maximum and the condition is n by r should be n by m should be equal to r by r student let's solve student one numerical from the daily life say in the company the better the battery manufacturing company what how they calculate the resistance how they calculate the battery emf and how they design the battery c student suppose in a truck or a car starter requires 12 volt and the current required is 10 ampere this much high current is required student to start a car or a truck say now the question is how many cells are required to make the battery one cell is of 1.5 volt student okay student now see the required data I is given 10, capital R is given 0.2 ohm, external resistance. Means this capital R is the resistance of the car student. And the R of one cell, that cell which are using is 1 ohm. And the voltage required total is 12, total is 12 student. And total means N, N times C, just now we have seen, it should be connected in one row. This should come out to be 12. Now student from here, I am getting the value of N. See, N comes out to be 8. Now, if you got the 8 student, you can get the M from this formula student. See the formula. I is equal to M and E upon NR plus NR plus MR. You substitute the values. I is given 10. Capital R is given 0.2. N already we calculated 8. When you substitute all the values student, M is left. And you will, by solving student, you will get M to be equal to 8. Now student how many cells are required? M into N. M8. N is 8. To total 64 cells are required student. 64 cells. So this is how the battery is designed. For a car or a, or a truck. It is based on mixed combination of the cell student. So first student what we have seen in this chapter. The cells when they are connected in series the all the emf they are added but the condition is the positive terminal and the negative the negative should be connected to the positive okay then it is added student the emfs are added and in parallel if the all the rows have same emf there is no change in the emf then we have seen student the conditions of the condition to get the maximum current in case of series combination in case of parallel combination in case of series combination when the current is maximum in case of parallel combination when the current is maximum and at the end the ultimate student in case of mixed combination strength the most important part mixed combination this formula you have to remember student small n upon m is equal to capital r upon small r what is small n student small n it is the number of cells in one row number of cells in one row what is a small m it is the number of rows student number of rows what is capital r it is the external resistance student and what is small r it is the internal resistance student this condition should be met to get the maximum current and we have discussed also about a question of 100 cells how m and n are calculated student
we have seen the step how it is connect how they are solved student in this question how it is solved you got the net emf to be 7.5 okay student thank you again we will continue in the next topic in the next class